Hello, Internet! My name is Ace of Hearts Fox, and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. And more blank notes. That is... That's fantastic. But at least we got our friend Catbox. Cat in the box. Someone said he looked kind of like Catbug from Bravest Warriors. I, kinda, I can see that. I see that a little bit in his face. In the little, the little hands. Little hands. Oh, boy. So we made it to room 600. I'm gonna see if I can make it to room 700 in this episode. I watched some playthroughs that other people did, and they didn't make it up to room 600. Ah! Jeez, the noises are getting even worse. But some people didn't make it this far without dying, so I'm, like, I'm kind of impressed with myself, because I don't consider myself a particularly good gamer. Like, I don't, I don't consider myself to be, like, some sort of hardcore gamer or anything like that. I've just, I don't know, I've always been a casual. I, I was always that guy whenever you would play Super Smash Brothers like with people where I was good at like one character. I was good at one character and then maybe okay with a couple other characters. And I don't know, like all my friends, they were always really good at it. Granted, they were the ones that like owned Super Smash Brothers. I would just go to their house to play it. But I was good maybe with like Pikachu and Marth, and that was about it. That was the limitation of my skill set, and they were just one of those people that, like, they would play the game all the time, and it made me feel like I just wasn't particularly good at video games. So, I don't know, it kind of made me feel pretty good when, uh, when I watched other playthroughs and other people had died by now. Like, other people hadn't made it to room 600 without death. Also, I'm getting concerned because, like, the, the textures have kind of ch- Oh, no. Something's in that door, isn't it? Oh no. What's uh what's going on? Are we playing like Doom right now? Is this is this Doom? What is this? That's interesting. GL Labs. One of these doors is going to have something scary behind it, I know it. Like, they're, they're introducing me to, like, how these doors work. And I just... See? There's blood right there. No. Oh, no. Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I can't think well. I feel strange. I'm hiding from that thing. I feel like something is growing on my skin. I can't seem to tear it off fast enough, and I'm losing a lot of blood. Great. That's great. And just what I was talking about, that like, oh, we made it this far without dying. Proud of me, now I get to die. You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. I Something I can't outrun. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so we gotta keep it close. So, just gotta keep it close. That's actually not too bad, so I just gotta make sure Okay. Okay. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Ah. Uh, that's it? We saw the wonders doing an endless maze. That's it? Can I... Okay. Ace! Ace is top 10 player. Wait, did I just die? Oh, come on. Can I at least continue? Can I continue up at, like, my last checkpoint? This is, like, just what I was talking about, how we were like, Oh, I'm so proud of myself, we haven't died yet. Alright, GL Labs. Doors. Oh, boy. Okay. We're gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, power's off again. Go through this. Through that. Through that. 
Okay. There. Hello? Hello? I don't know, it like, it wasn't, it's weird because that seemed like to be like the most dangerous thing that I've encountered so far, but honestly, I, there you go, why? See, it's not the scariest thing that I've encountered so far, but it's definitely the most dangerous. I just gotta get it through that door. Woo! That wasn't too bad. Okay. Ho! Uh. Okay. We're gonna be alright. We're gonna be okay. Ah! Damn it! Getting through the doors. Oh boy, I can't see. Oh, it's growing on my skin, isn't it? Okay. Did I die again? Now you have nothing to fear. Now you have nothing to think. Follow your selfish desires. Follow your natural instinct. After all, you're just an animal. It's much easier than trying to think. is good at this game I made it to room 622 I jinxed myself I really did I jinxed myself by saying like oh congratulations me for making it this far without dying and now I'm gonna just be stuck I'm gonna be stuck in alien hell forever over here over here okay it's fine just gotta keep running Go. <sighs> to that one. So it seems to mess with my vision, but I don't think that that actually affects my ability to go through doors, which is nice to know. Okay. Here we go. Just got. Don't don't look back. Don't look back. Just gotta keep running. Oh, you know what? When it did that thing, it popped up like a message the last time it was trying to kill me. It popped up like a message, but it didn't instantly kill me. So I think, ah, oh, damn it. I think I was still able to walk around. Ah, ah, so that means <laughs> that it doesn't kill me right away. When it has that message up, I can still make it through the door. So I should just keep moving forward. I just keep moving forward. There we go. <laughs> I'm figuring out your secret, weird little parasite thing. Okay, let me just gotta go straight down to that door. Boom! It's interesting though, because like I said before, this isn't the scariest thing that we've encountered. It's just kind of the weirdest and somehow the most difficult. But I think it just, it's just really difficult because it, it directly affects my ability to walk through doors. Maybe I'm just getting a little less sensitive to these. Uh, but then again, this thing is a lot less jump scare-y than the other creatures that I've experienced so far. So maybe that could just be it. I, I think the problem with this one is it doesn't make as many loud, sudden noises. It's just really- Wow! Fucker! See? The little skull scared me more than the big, demented alien thing that's chasing after me. And I feel like that's, that's a little topsy-turvy. Oh man, how long is this thing gonna chase me for? Come on, man, I've made it through 40 rooms without dying to you. I've earned my life! Ugh. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Yes! We made it! Yeah! Ugh. Oh man, that is satisfying! Woo! Woo! Whatever made that noise. It just wouldn't be Spooky's jump scare mansion without another jump scare. I think my camera has like shifted throughout this episode. <laughs> just from me jerking around and like uh, shifting my uh, shifting my desk. I, I would love to just make it through the next 56 rooms without something else trying to kill me, but I know that is not gonna happen. Like what am I gonna get? Am I gonna get choking ghosts? 
Am I gonna get little girl ghosts? Honestly, little girl ghosts, like the Lavender Town girl, that's probably the scariest thing in this game to me. Other than like Slendier Man, just because he's so sudden. Um, locked, great. Oh boy, so I'm gonna have to remember that though next time. So the, I find that there is a small amount of consistency, like that's kind of the game's way of saying, hey, when something's chasing you, remember that one of these doors could be locked. At least I, I, I would like to think that that's the game giving me a heads up, but I could be wrong, you know? Like, it could be any- oh, yeah. What was that noise? Oh yeah. I would love to sit in on just like the sound engineering session for this game, because they create everything from like the most demented noises all the way down to these like adorable little sound bites. Oh, uh, long hallway. That's not ominous. But I would love to just sit in while they do- I, Honestly, on any game, really. I watched a documentary a while back on the making of Skyrim and how they made all the sound effects for that game, because you never really think about that. Everyone's really concerned with graphics, but you don't consider the amount of ambient sound and just the amount of engineering that goes into tricking your brain into thinking that certain noises are what they are. It's like, um, I, I remember they were talking about how they had skeletons in that game, and that was really difficult, because you can't exactly go out and break a bunch of bones. Oh, no. What is it? Is that Lavender Town Girl? Is that Lavender? I, I always forget. I don't know. Ugh. Oh no! Fucking puppet. Yeah, I see you. Can I chop him up? Nope. Can't chop him up. Hi. Hi there. I'm just gonna recover some health real quick, because that was not fair. <laughs> okay, never mind. Make it to the next one without die. I've earned my right to get to room 700. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't know where to walk to. I was already at the door. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Like, there's just, there's, uh, I mean, there is a pattern to the way he moves around, but the problem with it is that you gotta kinda just do this, and hope that he's, like, not gonna kill you. God damn it! Like that! Just like that. God! chases you is pretty freaky, but I think, okay, definitely the little Majora's Mask-esque type puppet thing, that is definitely the scariest thing that I've experienced in this game, just because there is no, like, there's no surefire way of getting away from it, like, with the, with the alien thing, if you stay close enough to it, it's not really fast and kind of... Once you're exposed to something long enough, it doesn't get as scary, but the problem with the, uh, the puppet is that you only see it, really, when it's trying to kill you. Like, 
Does that make sense? It, you'll only see it when it pops up behind you. Other than that, you're looking away from it because you're trying to run away. Uh, it's kind of like there were there were a few movies that came out that had some really scary monsters in them uh, uh, that I felt were a lot scarier just because I didn't see them as often. Like, um, if you guys ever saw that movie Insidious, it's about, like, some sort of demon thing that possesses a guy and a family or whatever. But, like, the point being with it is that you saw maybe a couple glimpses of, of the big satanic creature that was possessing him. You only see it, like, in little blips. Other than that, you get a lot of ambience and a lot of actions resulting in, like, not being able to find it. But, um... I don't know. They came out with it. They came out with a second one, and it was a lot less terrifying to me because after you get to see a ghost or you get to see a demon or something like that, after you see it enough times, you get used to it. It becomes less effective, and I feel like when there's more of an air of tension and it's building up, and then it finally exposes itself, then that to me is a lot more terrifying. Like. That, I don't know, that's just kind of why the puppet freaks me out a lot more than the other monsters. Because see, like, there's there's this ambient noise building up, uh, and rather than showing me just, like, freaky horrors, that's why, like, games, like, I saw, I, I saw the trailer for Doom, and one of my friends was telling me, oh, you gotta do this, this is so scary, and uh, I don't know, it just doesn't seem as terrifying to me. Also because, like, in Doom, you can fight back. Like, that's the other problem, is games where you can fight back are just a lot less scary to me. Like, I have an axe, but ultimately I can't destroy the things that are chasing me. And that is the end of my rant that keeps me sane. 100% beef, now hiring cow feeders. You can be the next cog in the majestic beef grinding machine. Follow your dreams and feed cows all day. Slight chance of injury, only O positive blood types are allowed, but all are welcome to sacrifice for the cause. See your local doctor for a blood type change today, and prepare for the future. By reading this text, you have agreed to, one, to let 100% Beef Corp draft you into the volunteer program. See you working hard soon. Hey! You're like iTunes, but worse with those agreements. Okay. I'm going to take a little breather. Thanks again for watching this episode of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe or just leave me some feedback down below in the comments. I only want to improve on these, so please let me know what you liked about the video or just where I can improve on these. Until next time, I'm Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Pshh.